I was asked to do a how-to for some Johnny Cash and um, just like all my how to play a song videos I'm gonna tell you to go out and Google it and get go get the lyrics and with the chords you can Google Johnny Cash Ring of Fire chords and you'll you'll find a dozen different websites um, it's gonna look something like this and as long as you got the basic it's in the key of G um, this song only has three chords G, C, and D, um, like a lot of other simple country and folk songs. Um, so the first thing you want to do is, is get your rhythm down. You tap your foot. If this is too too weird for you, you can just strum along. And that works fine. Because your goal here is you just want to play a little banjo and sing along. But uh, if you're doing your basic frailing strum, or your claw hammer banjo player, you're gonna wanna do something like this. And just as a quick review, and there's thousands of great videos about that, but uh, typically what I'll do is I'll strike my, strike the third string, my middle finger in a downward motion like a guitar pick. The finger pick is like a guitar pick, doink, it's down. You're gonna see me alternating between the third and the fourth. But between that, I'm going to break those uh, half notes in half to make quarter notes. So it'll be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. I'm just strumming all the strings. One, so it's going to be strike, strum, strike, strum, strike, strum, strike, strum. And then when you get comfortable with that, you can break some of those quarter notes in half into eighth notes by using your thumb and just having it pop off. So all together is going to be strike, strum, thumb, strike, strum, thumb, strike, strum, thumb. One, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four, and two, and three, four, and. And again, I like to alternate between that third and the fourth because it gives us a nice little bass run. You can play any note that you want. There's, there's no real wrong way to do it because you're in the key of G. So as long as you're hitting any string while you're holding those chord shapes, it's going to work. The song has only three chords, so um, before you start to play, practice changing the different chords. Obviously this is open G tuning, so I get a free chord that's going to be your G chord. And then switch to the C chord. As a reminder, the C chord is going to be, uh, you're going to have your ring finger on the first string, second fret. Your pointer finger is going to be on the second string, first fret. Your middle finger is going to be on the fourth string, second fret. And that's a C. If uh, three fingers is uh, too hard for you, maybe you had a welding accident and you only have one finger, that's okay. You can still play banjo. Just take one finger and lay it down on the fifth fret, and that's a C chord. Now, if we want to play the D chord, we can, I like to do this one kind of nice bright sounding chord and I'm just using three fingers they have a four finger D chord but it's kind of redundant because that if you leave that fourth string open that's actually a D note anyway so what I like to do is I take my ring finger on the first string fourth fret take my middle finger on the uh, second second string third fret and your pointer finger on the second string or third string second fret all together it's gonna make a little angle right tic-tac-toe three in a row and once again if you had a welding accident and you've only got one finger you can you can take that and lay it down on the seventh fret so you can see how i'm kind of laying it down flat so that all the strings are laid down and really what your goal here is is so that the string is laying over that fret bar and you don't have to press it too hard because you'll you'll bend the strings out of tune but if you just gently and you don't want to get fatigued from pressing too hard you lay it gently and the, the strings will just kind of make contact with those frets and you have a nice clean chord right so the one finger technique G C D G G C for the three finger folks Once you get comfortable changing chords, then we can start applying it to the song, right? 
So now let's mute the strings a little bit and just focus on the right hand technique. We talked about that. That's your basic frailing strum. Once again, if that's too much, just, just strum it. That's okay. You can come back to the basic frailing strum later. Our goal is just to play enough so that we can sing along. And at this point, try singing along. We're not going to play any chords. We're just got those muted strings. They're creating a little bit of a, a drum effect for us. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down. Flames went higher, and it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. And if you're new to singing and this isn't something that you like to do, you get kind of embarrassed, don't worry. It takes a hundred times until your voice, the muscle memory in your throat, it, it, till it feels comfortable. And I'm not even a great singer myself. I, I don't really know how to sing from my diaphragm and all that stuff. I just kind of do what, do what works because this is folk music. But uh, there's always room for improvement no matter who you are. So just use what you've got. And it sounds kind of weird if you're singing and not playing music at the same time. You feel kind of naked. Cause you, but get used to that. And uh, If you need to go into the basement or go into your garage and be by yourself, just like you're singing in the shower, just kind of... Belt, don't be afraid to belt it out. And once you feel comfortable singing along with that rhythm, and that's the hard part, you want to make sure you're singing to the beat. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. And if that's too deep for you, maybe you listen to some Johnny Cash records and you really want to sing deep like Johnny Cash. I certainly can't do that, so you know what you should do is go download a June Carter Cash version of that song. She's got a much nicer voice anyway. She wrote the song. She's got a more accessible voice, let's say. All right, now you're ready to play some chords. Now this time we're not going to do any of that fancy strumming. We're not going to keep a beat. We're just going to practice the chord changes while we sing. So we'll just start with G. Love is a C burning G thing and it makes a C fiery G ring bound by C wild D C desire I fell into a C ring of G fire and I D Fell into a sea, burning ring of G fire. I went D down, 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 and the sea flames went G higher, and it burns, burns, burns. The sea ring of G fire, the sea ring of G fire. Now, the second verse is pretty much the same, uh, and then after that second break, you're just gonna repeat the chorus again, and, and if you download the, the lyrics and the chords, you'll see where the turnabout is. But for, for the most part, that's it. Now, now you're gonna try it, and I'm gonna try it again. Um, remember, download the chords. Don't just go by what I'm telling you. Um, it's gonna be a lot easier if you're looking at it while you sing, so. Um, but I'm going to try it just with a single strum. Remember, if you don't know the basic frailing strum, you could just strum like I'm going to do here. All right, so we'll go. Love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. Bound by wild desire, I fell into a ring of fire. Fell into a burning ring of fire I went down, down, down And the flames went higher And it burns, burns, burns 
the ring of fire, the ring of fire. And especially with a lot of these three chord songs, get used to hearing where the chord changes. Um, if it's just got the three chords, and you know it's starting in G, and you, and you, you go for that change, it's either going to be a, a C or a D. And if you do this enough, you'll get a good instinct for that change. You, you really don't have to memorize the chords that much. You can follow your gut. All right, now we're ready to bring it all together, right? By the way, if you could do what I just did there, where you're just strumming along and singing, maybe you just, love is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. You did it. You're singing with banjo. Great. Now you're just going to add embellishments and rhythm and dynamics, and it gets really cool after that. But at that point, you're a singing banjo player. Now we're going to do the basic frailing strum. At this point, it's kind of mindless, right? This isn't going to change through the whole song. Love is a burning thing. That's why you don't have to hit the third and the fourth string all the time. You can kind of go add a little bit of dynamics. Maybe throw some drop thumbs in, right? It's really Cook's choice. Um, just work with whatever dynamics you've been learning at the time. Maybe you're listening to some lessons online uh, about hammer-ons. So sprinkle those in. Maybe some pull-offs. Maybe some slides. You start to mix those together. Or um, maybe the, the left-handed stuff is a little too discombobulates you while you confuses you while you're playing so it's just maybe you prefer the drop them it's not for everybody sometimes you just basic strum works all right so hope that helps love to see what you come up with <laughs>